Hi, I just want to say a quick thank you to our sponsor today, Shopify. Shopify makes it easy for you to show up exactly the way you want to. Customize your online store to your style with gorgeous, flexible templates and powerful tools. Sign up for a $1 a month trial period at shopify.com slash Funches. That's all lowercase. Go to Shopify.com slash Funches, lowercase, now to grow your business no matter what stage you're in. Shopify.com slash Funches. It's Hi, it's me, Ron Funches. Thank you for listening to the podcast. Um, if you enjoy me as a human being and want to see me do stand up, I'm doing a couple of events that I would love for you to come to. Uh, one of which is pretty important and near and dear to my heart. I will be in New York City for a night of too many stars, Monday, December 11th. If you're in New York, it's at the Beacon Theater. And I mean, I'm just going to read a few names and it should tell you that you should want to go. Rachel Bloom, Stephen. And Colbert, Ron Funches, just me, James Austin Johnson, Chris Rock, Adam Sandler, Amy Schumer, John Stewart, many more, and the cast of How to Dance in Ohio. And now that sounds like a beautiful evening, and it will be a live event as well as a auction to support uh, Next for Autism, which is uh, you know a certainly a foundation i believe in so please go to that if you can uh, if you're in san diego you can see me at the all american comedy club i believe that's the name of it i always forget american comedy co close enough san diego december 8th and 9th that is my last road gigs of the year i'm setting up some shows in la uh, where i'm gonna run my hour and have people help me um sharpen it up a little bit more so look out for that but other than that just you know follow me on instagrams and stuff do whatever i enjoy it and thank you for waiting for these podcasts i don't know i think this is the first one we've done in like three or four weeks i'm not sure either way at least i got something to talk about let's get to the podcast i hope you're feeling strong i hope you're feeling brave i missed you I hope you're feeling loved and I hope you're feeling grateful for that love. I hope you're taking stock of the year as we get towards the end and the, the things that you've accomplished or want to accomplish or the things that you thought you wanted to do and needed to let go. That's all part of it about tending to your garden as Angela Johnson once told us. And I've been having a great, Last couple of weeks, a full swing of energy back and forth from where I felt pretty low and down about myself. Um, and then in the next couple of days, I was uh, excited about the future and, and, and happy about my life. And that's how things go. And that's why we need a constant, we need balance, we need our friends, we need our family, especially if you work in a uh, industry of, I guess any type of industry really but you have those good days you have those bad days at work and if you're fully defining yourself by work and by your output then you know those can really throw you off when you feel like you got passed over or looked over uh, you know because that's just how I was I, there was a hosting job that I wanted that went to a very wonderful amazing and tremendously talented and popular comedian and I'm very happy for them and I think they're going to do a wonderful job and I think they um they have great eye for other what I wanted myself to for that job was to help other comedians and the type of comedians that I love to continue to shine and grow and develop by giving them more of a spotlight and i think that she'll do a great job in doing that as well because she comes from the same type of tree so I, I got nothing negative to say on that at all um it's just i wanted the job um i don't think i was ever really fully like considered in a real way i think it was a passing uh you know when i asked if, if, I, if I could be considered there was like sure <laughs> <But> <laughs> And it made me feel a certain type of way, you know, just because um, you work hard and you feel like you put out good effort to make sure that every time you nail it and you do great things and help help people who who build their things. And then you when you feel that you um, check in every box of a thing and then you, something, you know, again, 
I don't mind losing out on a thing, but I love to actually feel valued or, 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 or love for the things that I do do. And, um, and so I didn't feel that way for a couple of days. And then I was, ex- I was going to Las Vegas and I was not excited to go because they called me and or my manager and were like, Hey, do you want to cancel the late shows? That's usually not a good sign. And so <laughs> I was like, Oh no, I already knew that this, I'm not a Las Vegas act and I'm not going to party drinker guy. And this isn't going to go well. And now they want to cancel the second shows. And I said, if they want to cancel, them if they want as long as i got my full payment and then they said let's do those second shows then and, so, <laughs> and i'm glad i did because i ended up having great shows people showed up for me um i ended up getting a lot of walk up um which i do and i appreciate i mean i would love if the people who walk up because they love me would go ahead and buy tickets ahead of time that truly would be a godsend but I love the people who who decided to show up. I had a great sets, great time, fun time in Las Vegas, which is probably different for me than other people because I don't really drink at all and I don't gamble. Um, so it was just hanging out with my buddy Gabe and my buddy Brian, smoking weed and going to a Japanese arcade where we played a game where it just made it look like you were fucking a plastic pig. Um, and it was the highlight of the weekend. And <laughs> I recommend it to anyone. Game Nest, Las Vegas. Check it out if you get the chance. Um, and so that made me feel good. And then the next day, um, I had tickets to go see Lauren Hill and the Fugees. And I went with my best friend, Gabe. And <clears throat> I was like, you know, she might not even show up. Lauren Hill's known for being late. She's known for canceling last minute. I was like, this is going to be an adventure. I'm going to take some edibles and I'm going to go. And it was an adventure. We had to walk all over the forum to find where our tickets were or were not um and how we were going to get in people were getting upset uh she had a dj pre-dj and then a post dj not a post show dj but a post dj dj she had the pre-dj and then they were like, we're going to start the show. And then another DJ came out and said, psych. And that, <laughs> I thought it was a pretty good prank. Um, and then she finally came out a couple hours later. And, and it was a real testament to what talent means because if you if you can have someone walking all over the parking lot, sitting around waiting for you for an hour plus, and then it was like the greatest show I ever seen and a true reminder of what um, inspired me to get into comedy, I would say, but art in general. Um, and just the messages that she puts in her work and the uh, being able to see the Fugees and seeing Lil Wayne and seeing so many people who I grew up listening to. And it was just a, and truly it wasn't even the concert. It was just a full experience of like, I ran into so many people who knew who who either I knew or just knew me from comedy and was showing me love while I was at this concert and had a great time talking to two uh, beautiful uh, married women, but they were lovely and beautiful and charming. And we were charm. Gabe and I were charming back me more than Gabe. It's not like he was trying to do nothing. I want to make sure I say that out loud. <laughs> Hi. Are you a freelance worker of some type? Do you sell beeswax? <laughs> Do you customize t-shirts? Do you have, uh, are you good at making pies? And you want to, I guess food is probably not good to be trying to ship across the land. But whatever type of business you got, now's the time to diversify and really separate yourself from your employer. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and the best way to do that is through tools like Shopify. You got to have online stores. I'll be selling t-shirts, selling hoodies, selling posters, things that can help you while you're not making money, especially during a strike. If you're an actor, a writer, any type of freelance worker, whatever you do, if you're good at a craft, 
Get it out into the world and Shopify can help you do that. Shopify is the global e-commerce platform that helps you sell at every stage of your business. From the launch your online shop stage all the way to your first brick and mortar real life store stage. And the way did we, we just hit a million order stage? That's a good stage. I'd like to get that myself. Shopify is there to help you grow. Like I said previously, I've been trying to take my own online stuff my whole just industry my whole if we can call it funches industries it makes me sound like tony stark to the whole next level and so i've been having shopify uh we've been you know i've been saying it for a few weeks but i'm working slow it's not shopify's fault trust me uh it's been pretty easy i just want to make it look everything look real uh nice and beautiful but it's been providing you little templates where you can take pictures i want people to model the t-shirts model the hoodies and then you click on them you can get them out to you 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 know and i'm excited about that and so i'm just saying i think i like shopify and so should you shopify powers 10 percent of all e-commerce in the u.s and shopify is the global force behind brands like all birds rothy's and brooklyn and you know you love them they do good sheets and millions of other entrepreneurs of every size across 175 countries sign up today for one dollar per month trial period at shopify.com slash funches all lowercase that is shopify.com slash funches lowercase to grow your business no matter what stage you're in shopify.com slash functions <laughs> <laughs> but it was just nice and it was a nice reminder of the type of um woman that I want around me and that the the, the person that I enjoy and then it was a nice reminder of why I'm in art of it's not for me for money it's not for recognition it's not for fame certainly it's just because I like to promote freedom and promote happiness and promote that you can have your heaven here on earth through hard work and discipline and truly taking leaps of faith into what you know you're put here for so it was beautiful to um have that reminder and have that full swing of like being like oh man no but oh why don't they want me to like oh fuck it fuck it I'm fucking great. Go fuck yourself. And that's, it's nice to have um, fun experiences like that that make you feel better. Um, and I hope you got that in your life. I hope you have friends, friends that pulled me up when I said, you know, you, you know, you got good friends where you could call them and just ask them, hey, tell me something nice about myself to make me feel better. Um, but then it's also weird when the first thing that they say is you handle stress well. I'm like, that's not. I mean, I would rather you just say, I never have to handle stress. Why is it that, like, I, I've i noticed in your life, a lot of stress comes your way. <laughs> and you handle it with grace and aplomb. <laughs> like, okay. But it's nice to have friends like that. And I'm really excited. Um, it's just, you know, in a weird growth and emotional time that's like coming up on a year of being separated and, Things are, you know, settling down in a way. I hope to be fully divorced soon. I would love that. It feels like we should have been. I know I've said this on the podcast several times. Uh, But either way, we, you know, we seem to be getting along, at least in a little better way, which I appreciate, able to celebrate how much Teddy has grown and changed and how smart he is and how much he... um loves us and I, I I love that so much and just my growth and the things that I wanted to do for myself and now that I've been cooking for myself just about every night and really learning to be happy by myself and with myself and that was another part of the Lauren Hill concert where they talked about how you know a lot of us we seek friendship and we seek community not out of a place of joy or a place of love but out of fear of not wanting to be alone and it's only when you are alone and choose to live with that that you can then fill yourself with love and be there for other people and I'm starting to feel that where I feel real comfortable with myself and I feel solid in my body and I feel solid in my soul and who I am as a person and I don't have anything to prove to anyone and it's something that like Moses Storm said 
on the podcast once that always sat with me and I knew that I was not there yet. But he said that um, you could truly win in our industry once you don't want anything. And I think that's a thing in life as well, to really truly detach yourself and not want anything. And I can't with 100% say that I'm there, but I know I'm so much closer than I used to be. I don't feel a desire to um, be known or be um, remembered or just have money and status. I just want to be free to create and be able to take care of my family. So I mean, maybe those are wants and attachments. I'm not sure, but um, it's certainly better than being like, oh, I need this. Or, I want this. This will be perfect for me. This is for me. I, I love my life. Even if this strike never ends, I love my life and I'll be able to survive and be able to cope and change. It's not about acting on a show for me or being on a network for me. Um, I'll tour, I'll write a book, I'll write comic books, I'll do whatever, as long as I can create and put the things out in the world because I'm lucky and I'm blessed that people um, relate to it and respond to it and come out and see me. And that's truly what I learned is that, um, you know, I may not have this or that or, or certain, I mean, I may be getting told no by bigger and bigger people, but I also can go to Las Vegas on Friday off the strip in the middle of town and get a standing ovation. So I, I'm good at my job. I'm good at my craft. I'm meant to do it. I love it. And I'm only getting better at it. And I hope you find something that makes you feel that way for you. Because that's a true blessing. When things are going bad or things don't feel right, just to so be like, well, I know what I love to do and I know what I like in my life. And I'm blessed to be able to do it with the people who I love and enjoy. And I'm thankful, which makes very much sense. We've got Thanksgiving coming up. I imagine we'll do another episode before then. But I always like to do a pre-holiday um, reminder to people to just, you know, don't let stress take you down. Don't let lack of funds and not being able to buy gifts for everybody force you into a, uh, like a despair or anything like that like just be happy with you the people who love you will understand if you're not able to you know the children that's difficult that's a whole nother stress they usually don't understand <laughs> but just don't you know a lot of times we wild out try to take care of our friends and our neighbors and stuff like that like you know keep it to your circle Take care of the people who love you and who look after you and, and, and just hunker down and be blessed that we made it through another year. Um, and other than that, I just want to give a shout out to Amanda. Thank you for being a supporter of the podcast and for loving us so much. And, you know, and if it, people uh, support us on Patreon, patreon.com slash getting better with Ron. And um, I really appreciate that because, you know, I don't even know. I'm this podcast like Lauren Hill. You never know when it's going to come. We want to get here right on time and help you out. All right. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please check out our last episode right over here. Bam! Or perhaps a video picked by our overlords at YouTube. Boop. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit it up. Hit it up. Press the button. Press it!